chilly day in December, we have a coffee. We're going to talk about our Beetle project. This here is my 73 VW Beetle. Uh, it is a standard Beetle, not a Superbug. Um, it has the swing axle rear. It doesn't have the IRS, so it makes it a little bit of an oddball deal. So story with the car. I bought it a year ago. I found it on Marketplace. Back and forth negotiating with the guy. Um, at one point, I decided, you know what? It's too much for what the car is. I'm not going to buy it. And we, we exchanged messages and everything was fine. He came back at me and said, you know what? I'll drop the price. Come and pick up the car. Loaded up a trailer, went up, picked up the car. And although there wasn't something big going for it, like the engine isn't brand new, the paint isn't perfect, the floors are rotten. I like to say that it's got Fred Flintstone floors in it because, yeah, it does need new floors. Heater channels, I'm not even sure because I haven't looked at them that well. Uh, electrical's a mess. Um, but you know what? The car's complete. And at that moment, the car made me happy. So I went ahead and bought it, brought it home, and we've been ordering parts since. So everything's going to be done at home um, other than balancing the rotating assembly. So with that, yes, engine work is going to be happening. Um, I plan on painting the car at home. I'm going to be doing the body work myself. I have a disc brake conversion kit. It's going to be going all the way around. Uh, new brake lines for it. I'm going to be replacing the floor pan front to rear. Um, it does have air shocks on it right now at the front. So the, um, the springs have been removed from the beam. I'm also going to be reinforcing that shock tower because it's a lot of load on that in my opinion. So I'll reinforce it, uh, replace the floors, replace the brake lines, the master cylinder, the disc brake conversion, and all the window rubbers, of course. It's going to be a home restoration, right? On the rear end of the car, I had the idea for a while. I wanted to put an ABA in it, which is the VW water-cooled four-cylinder um, that came in the Mark III generation cars. So I have a Golf that has that same engine. It would make sense because I have a lot of spare parts but it takes away the originality of the car if I go ahead with that swap. We're gonna be doing 1641. So I'll have the original case, no machining. Um, I have a new crank for it. Uh, I have the 87 millimeter pistons for it and the jugs. I have a set of heads with the bigger 40 millimeter intake valves, 35 and a half exhaust valves. I'm gonna be putting in a bigger cam. I'm not sure exactly yet because I haven't ordered it. And we have an empty sport exhaust and Weber 40s for it. So it should make decent amount of power, nothing crazy, but it should be fun on Sundays to go out for a coffee. We might dabble into nitrous, but I had to take a sip of coffee for that one. <laughs> I want the car to be fun, but I want it to be reliable. So we'll see how far we push that avenue. The interior is going to stay relatively stock. I plan on rewiring the car, headlights to taillights. I have a full universal harness to do that. I have brand new chrome bumpers for it. So we're going to be deleting the turn signals on the fenders. We're going to be putting the California style bumper with the turn signal built in. Uh, with wheels and tires, that's a big one because something on Marketplace just popped up. And I might go for it. <laughs> if not, we'll see. But the disc brake conversion kit I ordered was for 4x130. Worst case Ontario, I'll be keeping the Steelys and we'll repaint them and just get some new hubcaps for them. So I did forget to mention the reason why I want to paint the car. From that distance, it probably looks fine. It's a good 20 foot paint job, let's say. Um, but the car's rattle canned, so that's not the original yellow. Uh, it's not supposed to be a two tone car. It's overspray all over from when they rattle canned it. The paint's all flaking on the roof, right? And the original yellow, if you can tell, is this one. That's the original yellow for the car. It was yellow, it's gonna stay yellow. It's just gonna be a different yellow than what it was it's going to be a vw yellow and you guys are gonna to have to wait and see for when we're ready to paint but i think the thing's gonna pop in this color that i'm looking at so hang on it's gonna get good <laughs>